This program does contain disturbing imagery and flashing lights, so viewer discretion is advised. A long, long time ago, the Earth was ruled by dinosaurs. They were big, so not a lot of people went around hassling them. But that's not important to the story, so let's fast forward a bit. Hello, this is Dr. John Robinson recording Xenosolution Tape 1. For national security reasons, all progress made on Project Xenosolution is to be recorded for future reference. Project Xenosolution is the latest development of Project MKUltra, intended to produce the same results while staying in line with human rights. We've been tasked with developing a system that is disguised as a computer game meant to analyze the subject's brain patterns through their gameplay. Computer gaming results in an increase of brain activity, and through neuron impulses the system should simulate and replicate the player's brain activity until it can make a perfect copy of said brain, allowing us to retrieve information without resorting to drugs and torture as previously attempted. We have once again made talks with Atari for use of their computer games, and have agreed to lend us the code for their Tempest game on the condition Atari is left out of this project in its entirety. I have dubbed the game Polybius as a result. After all, men have no more ready corrective of conduct than knowledge of the past. Hello, this is Dr. John Robinson recording this solution tape 2. The system has been finished. We've placed Polybius in a local arcade in Portland, Oregon to get test samples as to how it works. So far, the early results seem promising. The system has been able to mimic its players to an uncanny extent from several minutes of gameplay alone. Unfortunately, it needs more time to make an accurate replica. The folkdom seem to be interested in Polybius enough to warrant further gameplay and therefore further testing is required. Two possible solutions have been pitched. Recent reports show that computer game addictions throughout the United States and capitalizing on that can keep players playing as long as we'd like. The other option is reprogramming the game itself to be more engaging. We've contacted Atari for help with game development, but they aren't interested. We already have the research in place for addiction from previous MKUltra tests, so it seems our path has been chosen for us. Hello, this is Dr. John Robinson recording this solution tape 3. We've updated the system! The gameplay will now adapt and be personalized each round to keep players playing as long as possible. Likewise, the flashing lights have now been implanted with subliminal messages to try and lure players into a sense of comfort while playing the game. Test results fared much better. The lines for the game wouldn't end, and people would play for hours at a time. The system was able to copy some players perfectly, and I wasn't even able to tell the difference myself. The game will continue to be examined for any updates. Hello, this is Dr. John Robinson, recording Xenosolution Tape 4. Polybius has been recalled. Unfortunately, several children have suffered seizures and epilepsy as a result of playing the game, one of which has even gone missing. We're in hot water as it is, with these tests since the New York Times blur plans right open, so the entire project has been shelved. 
I believe that there were plans to destroy the system to prevent it from falling into Soviet hands, but I received numerous papers about how the game is to be used for recreation. I'm assuming all the subliminal messaging was removed, obviously, but nonetheless I'm happy the project at least had some benefits. The rest of the department loves the game, it should be good for morale once our next project is sent. Hello, this is Dr. John Robinson. The entire office is missing. I continue to receive papers and even facts from my employees, but as far as I'm aware, no one's here. There are cars outside. They sent me these messages, but I haven't been able to find anyone. Now, as is protocol, I have found the camera in order to collect footage in the event of a Soviet attack. But, damn it, where is everyone? You wanna play the game? Oh, <laughs> oh load. Dr. John Robinson has been much better. Unfortunately, Dr. John Robinson has suffered seizures and epilepsy as a result of playing the game. Dr. John Robinson was the game. The entire office is the game. The game wouldn't end. Play for the game. Play for the game for hours at a time. Place Polybius in a local arcade and. You cannot beat us! We. YBS Ultimate TV Game System. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. Aim your Zapper gun. You cannot beat us. Even with your robot partner. You cannot beat us. So one million. You cannot beat us. Discover new worlds.
We are Polybius. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. Yes. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. And that's why Super Mario Bros. 2 is one of the worst sequels of all time. Alright, how was that day? Not bad, not bad. I was able to get him more still this time. Um, I've been meaning to ask, since we've been here, what the fuck are the water bottles for, man? I get thirsty! Why, why did you not just throw the empty bottles away? Then I have to go upstairs. Where do you keep your water bottles? Upstairs. So why not just bring one with you, the empty one with you when you go get a new one? That's true. You can do that. You can do that man. Because the recycling bin is outside. So I have to, I have to go outside and toss it in there. And then instead of just grabbing a new one, and you know. Then just get a bin for down here to be your recycling bin. That costs money. Like a dollar. Yeah, right. Where, where are you going to find... I will go to Family Dollar and buy a $5 bin right now. Right, like there's some magical tree where that just gives things away for a dollar. Yeah, that's the story, man. That's that's what that's what do. The dollar that's tree. The story, yeah. Dollar twenty-five for You, you know what? Like, I don't pay you guys to just sit here and critique my life choices, all right? You don't pay us. You don't pay you us don't at all. Money. You get us dinner sometimes. That's sometimes. Yeah, this is volunteer work. Yeah. If I'm getting you food, first of all, speaking of which, I gotta get ready for work. I gotta get ready for work. Ow! My foot! Ow! Ow! And there's no way to get better If we never make mistakes That's why I say When life brings you trouble
What could you guys possibly want? I want food. Yeah, I want food. I told you guys that I'm busy and I got to wait until after work. Yeah, but when's that? Well, we're, we're closing early tonight. We got a new game coming in, and the IT guy needs to patch that up. So just give me like five, half an hour. Five, half an hour? Five, half an hour? Oh, yeah, that's a bit. That's, actually, two, yeah. that's two hours. Yeah, that's like a two, that's two hours. Look, I got to get back to work, all right? I got to watch everybody or else I'm getting fired. Is it, is it half an hour, five minutes, or five half an hours? I don't know. I got to watch everyone or else somebody's going to get hurt. You guys make a single FNAF joke out of this, I swear to God. I was just gonna say, it's kinda sad that you don't have a job anymore, man. That would be good. Shit. Uh, good question. I don't know. I didn't think I'd get that. I didn't think it was happening, to be completely honest, but look on the plus side. I got to keep something. What'd you get to keep? A real one. Real what? A fucking rat costume? No. Bad pizza? No. No! What is Chuck E. Cheese most known for? Rat. Besides the rat. Bad pizza. Besides pizza? It's good, good pizza. That's it's still good pizza. pizza! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Bad oh, bad prizes. I got to keep an arcade game, assholes. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. Say that. yeah, that's my next guess. Just get in the car. Okay. So this is the one the IT guy had to fix, right? Okay, it's a little busted, but for the record, I got to keep my own arcade cabinet. That's still pretty cool at the end of the day, right? Come on. Arcade founded the genre, and this is an arcade game with the case ripped off. You got scammed, bro. That's right, we are building a Minecraft realm. Or server, or wh whatever it is. I'm not exactly the mastermind on those, but the important thing is we are building one, which sounds fun. For a second there, I thought I was gonna have to like face some like unholy creature or something. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just somebody messing with me. I'm assuming. My game froze. Well, that's just perfect. All right. Well. Did that get here? That's not...
We are Polybius. You cannot be us. with a terrible fate, haven't you? You? What part of Don't Play the Game do you not understand? Lay off him. He probably didn't believe you. What the hell is going on? Take it easy, champ. You're in video land. The crossroads between every website, game, and miscellaneous piece of code. I... What? That monstrosity you brought home place you in a player character to distinguish you. I don't... What? He's still not good. Okay, hang on. Hang the fuck on. Rewind from the beginning. Why did my arcade cabinet try to kill me? That arcade cabinet you face is a monster. We don't know what it is, but we call him Mr. Sis. This is his home, Video Land. He festers like a virus into any code he can get his blue little hands on to challenge unsuspecting players. But... He manipulates the game, creating anything and everything to ensure they cannot beat him. And when they lose, he places their soul into one of the game's characters in order to digitize them, bringing them here. Alright, still doesn't explain why he's an arcade cabinet with legs. He's the code and the cabinet, so he has complete control here while the physical world limits him to the arcade cabinet and nearby technology. He pulls people in to harvest their souls for himself, and once he has enough, be able to create a rift between worlds. With his digital abilities in the real world, he'll become unstoppable. And that still doesn't explain why I'm surrounded by Creepypasta! She doesn't have to tell you anything you know. All of those anonymous stories are actually posted by Mr. Sis this entire time. But to frame us as villains who don't exist so no one would take us seriously. Okay, hang on. So there's a digital world that the cabinet man trapped me in as a video game character. He'll become unbeatable if he escapes, and he's responsible for making every video game creepypasta. What, did he invent the fucking carrot peeler while he was at it? Probably. I honestly don't know. Alright, well, I'm getting the hell out of here. I did not just waste $20,000 on college tuition just to end up in Technicolor Purgatory. You can't. There's no exit. There's a giant-ass exit sign over there! Mr. Sis is blocking it. If any of us try to leave, he'll be there to reap our souls so he can escape. Alright, how many more souls does he need again? One. How long have you guys been here again? We've... given up trying to escape. Because the next person who does will be the harbinger of the apocalypse. Unless they beat him. Oh... Yes. Well, that takes care of that. I'm heading out. Don't you do that. You'll do us all. Or what? Wait until one of you snap? Let one of my friends get killed by that thing? Hell no. I've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Might be a bit ironic coming from me, but he is God. You cannot beat him. Okay, then why does it have to just be me? If we're all video game characters, let's just tag team and beat his ass. Oh, so you can shift the blame when the world goes to shit. That's enough! If you want to risk the fate of all humanity, go ahead. Just know that all those lives will be in your hands. You challenge us! Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, select! Damn it, I was hoping that would do something. Ow. God, I get it! You cannot beat us. You cannot beat us. We are Polybius. You are nothing. Maybe. But we are something. Need a hand? You guys came back? We just don't want the world to end you. 
fucking idiot. Fair enough. As of now, the threat known as Polybius has been neutralized. The souls of all those who played its game have finally been able to rest. Thank you for watching.